Hello everyone, today we have a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Track Hawk 4x4 with a clean title. A supercharged Hemi. Gotta love that SRT, sounds gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and take it for a tour. It does have a metallic black paint. And you can see that it does have LED headlight surrounds, Brembo brakes, and you've got painted aluminum wheels, dual exhaust. There's your dual panoramic sunroof. And then this down here, you see that it does have a very thick cargo mat, and then beneath that, is where you would put a spare tire. And it does have a 12 volt power outlet right there. And this one is also on its way over to Blue Star Inspections. It's a third party inspection company. Oh, my apologies. There's a sticker in the window that shows it just got back from there. So that's a third party inspection company that would have put it up on racks, taken photos of the undercarriage and such, and come up with an objective opinion as to the condition of the vehicle. See, it does have black leather seats with white stitching. And there's a 115 volt outlet right here. Heated second row seats, two USB ports right there. Super comfortable seats, very sporty. And then there's your dual panoramic sunroof and you do have those HD rubber floor mats up here. You see that it does have carbon fiber that runs through the doors. The second row doors also have the same. Harman Kardon sound, two driver presets. And then I'll show you the VIN right here, of which 4113 is the last four digits of the VIN. We'll go ahead and hop in. The Trackhawk branding right here. And that carbon fiber continues to run through here. Very, very cool. And then as we come down here, you'll see that it has 28,522 miles on this vehicle. And then you've got your paddle shifters and your stereo controls are actually on that same side of the steering wheel you would control with your fingertips. You've got your trip computer toggles, as you see right there. And then your push to talk, cruise controls, push button ignition. And then I'm just, this feels really good. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it down though. And then you see that you can connect via Bluetooth, auxiliary port, or USB. And then we can just jump on over here to climate. And there's your climate controls with your heated and cooled front seats and your heated steering wheel. And then here's your stereo. That sounds good, so we'll go ahead and turn it down. You see that it does have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth, as I showed you earlier. And then this doesn't flicker at all to the human eye. That's the refresh rate of the camera that makes it look like it's flickering. And then you come over here to your apps. This is also where you're gonna access your Wi-Fi hotspot and your performance pages. And so we'll just go ahead and jump over to the performance pages and while that loads up, I'll just go ahead and show you this. You got your map reading lights right here, and this will open your rear hatch, and that is your sunglasses holder, and then your controls for your dual panoramic sunroofs. Okay, and then so here are your performance pages, and I guess we can just go ahead and close these up because they're gonna make it more difficult for you to see this because it's so light in here. Once again, this doesn't flicker to the human eye, but um, I don't know why that went away. But you see you have your current gear, your power, your gauges. And then you're gonna have timers and your engine and your dyno, the onboard dyno is very cool, your G-forces and then so there's your gauges as well. All very cool, I love that interface. And we'll just go ahead and back up. And there is your backup camera. Okay. And then as we come over here, 
we'll just go ahead and show you your Bluetooth connection as well. And that about wraps it up. Over here you got your glove compartment. Down here you have your auxiliary port, two USB ports, and a 12 volt outlet right there. And you got your key fob down in here. And that has a remote start, that's very cool. And then you got your shifter and your sport track snow and tow modes and then here's your launch mode i will not demonstrate that you can watch a youtube tutorial on that if you'd like to see that but then here are your drive modes as well and so right here you've got it on auto and then you've also got your race options as well in that same screen and then we can just uh finish up this truck hawk as I mentioned this vehicle does have a clean title for more inventory visit us at tjchapmanauto.com